DC card in my personal name. It's never been activated. I've been saving it for an emergency. It only has a $5,000 limit. But every, I will activate it. You can use it $2,500. You know, go for it. You know, go for it. You know, I hope this whole thing you have created will work. Well, it did. So, Eddie first started out looking how to build a website. Well, he spent $79.95 on one of these do it yourself websites on the internet. After about a week, he decided. You know, this is crazy because nothing would work, wouldn't fit, and you gotta have a merchant account and all kinds of things for an e-commerce enabled website. So, you know, that wasn't really his deal. So he ended up paying thirteen hundred and fifty dollars to build a website that he could have Mustang parts on and he would be able to ship them out, things like that. So what he had to master though is driving traffic to that website because if you think about it, how many people are really looking for aftermarket Mustang performance parts. Would you say that's a very small segment of people? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so what's great about it, he was very successful. By the time he, before he graduated, he had caught all the house payments. He had already got his brother's tuition set up for his brother to go to start law school. And all the payments that the family was behind them got him caught up, they had extra money. And he was doing relatively well. Well, he had to make a decision. Do I continue on and be a doctor? Would it be a pediatrician? He said, this is actually fun. And he was making <coughs> quite a bit of money with this one website. He got to thinking, what if I had other websites and was offering other products, not just one? He said, today, I just decided to take a year off and set myself a goal. And I moved back into my parents' home with a laptop computer, back into his bedroom at his parents' home. He set a goal to make a million dollars in 12 months. Friends, he made more than that in 12 months. So he not only got his house payments caught up, next thing he did, he paid the mortgage off. Paid all the car payments off, they were debt free. Now, today, Anthony Morrison is a multi-millionaire and the number one marketing and best-selling author on anything to do with making money on the internet. So, that's where we are today. That's why you're here. Anthony wants to share some things with you because if you're interested in really making some money on the internet, I believe that tonight's going to be the night that you're going to get to say, wow. I didn't realize things worked like that. So we're going to take a look at really what's going on inside the internet. Those that are making money and those that are not. There are people out there struggling trying to make money. They spend too much money on advertising. They spend a lot of time doing what's called SEO or search engine optimization. So they're trying to do that to get what's called organic or free traffic. So. Don't worry too much about if I say something you don't understand what it is. It's okay because a lot of things that I'm going to say like that, like learning to do SEO and creating organic traffic, that's old news anyway. So tonight we're going to talk about you know, the latest state-of-the-art technology that is available and the way that people are really making money on the internet as opposed to struggling, spending too much time, effort, and money. Now, I think you'll see why as we progress. Anthony has had a meteoric rise to success. He was featured on the show with Don Lemon titled Your Money on CNN. So do you think that CNN probably checked Anthony Marson out pretty good before they put him on the show with Don Lemon? Yes or no? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. You know how these new shows are. They either like you, and if they don't like you, or they do to you. They just tear you apart. Is that correct? Well, he became Hit Millionaire of the Year. He got the right book, Hit Millionaire of the Year. He got the award, Hit Millionaire of the Year. And this has been phenomenal. Everybody wants to interview Anthony. It just goes on and on and on. I'll try to keep this part short for you. I do want to mention the Home Business Magazine article where they were looking for 13 entrepreneurs in, uh, that had created 
seven figure businesses during a recession. So think about these young entrepreneur life. You know, let's just go back five, six years ago. Um, in the U.S., the economy is real bad. It still is. You know, it's not that great anywhere. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Here's what's very interesting about people who are making money on the internet is they're making more and more money no matter what the economic conditions are. Is that interesting? So my background is in business and marketing and I've invested in real estate for many years. Do any of you in here invest in real estate and real estate investors? In the room? Okay, a couple of you. I can tell you right now, it's not as easy as these guru types on TV will tell you it is. It's just not that easy, okay? There's a lot of legalities and investing in real estate in Canada is a lot different than investing in the US. I mean, it's just be careful. So I just, you know, I've kind of said what I need to about real estate. And here's what I want to share. To me, the internet, doing what Anthony's done, since there is only one internet, I think it's like the new real estate. So, you know what? Opportunities are presented very often. So sometimes we rash those opportunities, sometimes we don't. Right now, there are things going on that I'll share with you tonight. I would think that the majority of people have heard for the first time. So we have a lot to cover, but I just want you to know it doesn't matter what's going on in the economy. People are still going to search. They're going to blog, they're going to tweet, they're going to Facebook, they're going to do all these different things. And with all these social media outlets and networks that we have now, you know, when you, you tie it all together and bundle it up, that's so much better than having a website. Does this make sense? So I'm going to share with you what all this means. Now, it's very important to Anthony that I share this with you. How many of you do believe in what goes around comes around? See, the more you give, the more you get. Yes? One of Anthony's big things every year, he work, he has an organization that he's created called Business for Kids. And it's very important to him to use his, his money, uh, works with the Salvation Army, and helps him buy hundreds, up to thousands of gifts now a year for children who may not get one. So, I already know that some of you are going to be successful in this industry. I already know. Because it happens in every class. And those of you who do become successful in this industry or other industries, you know it's always to give back to the community or the charity or the church or something. Yes? Who's with me? Yes. Good. All right. Now, let's take a look at a traditional internet business. And I'm sure that you may be familiar with this particular model. How many of you have made purchases on the internet? You bought something. <laughs> all right, so you've probably been around this already. You may not have known the interworking. You just went to a website and made a purchase. All right, well, it all starts with the website. And let's go back. Remember the aftermarket Mustang Parts website that Anthony had? This is the same model that he used. So starting with the website, do websites cost money, the ones that really work and make money? Yes or no? Say yes. Yeah. All right. Now, you can get websites for free, or you can get them for thousands of dollars, and basically it depends on what you're going to do with that website. Now, this is what's called an e-commerce enabled website. This type of website has to be hosted on servers. That is a monthly expense right there. So I, I, I know some of you can feel your pain from up here. You're already paying for hosting. And then, yes, you have a shopping cart for people to put their products in. Then there is the old merchant account. What a merchant account does is gives the website owner the ability to accept credit cards or payments, right? Are these uh, merchant accounts free? Oh, no. They have upfront fees and monthly fees. So, it's very possible somebody could have a website, pay hosting, merchant account fees. Those two expenses are actually exceeding their income already. So, that's not a good thing, correct? All right, so, products and services. What Anthony did was he contacted manufacturers for these parts, and they would do 
what's called drop shipping. Who's heard of drop shipping? All right. And then often he would buy products at wholesale, and they would actually be sent to the Morrison home, and then they would ship them back out to buyers, because he could buy wholesale and sell them to retail. What happened, his dad quickly became a shipping and receiving clerk on these Mustang parts coming into the, right there, because that's where the business was raining. Um, do you think there's some headaches when you're shipping out products and you got a 1 800 customer service number on your website? Yes or no? You think maybe some of those products did not fit? Those parts of the wrong color or something was wrong with them? Yeah, but you know what? That's just part of being successful, is just going the extra mile and doing whatever it takes. So Anthony was answering his own customer service calls with a cell phone, and he was doing this worldwide, so his phone would be ringing all night. So that's just paying the price for success. He's done, he has done fantastic. Now, I want to share with you now this. We're not going to talk to you tonight about building these. And I'm sure that you've, you know, you might have been to the seminar, read the book, you need to build a website. No, you don't. It's too time consuming. You're limited because what are you going to do? Have just a few products on it? So I think you'll see as we continue here, what might be a lot better. As we go around, the main thing that you see on this model that brings in the money is tractor. So that's one of the most difficult things for people to understand and figure out is how to drive traffic to a web page or website, period. I mean, that's one of the hardest, difficult things to do. Well, not really, if you know how. I would just assume not focus on all of these items and focus on learning to drive traffic. Those of you who have been to a real estate type program, you heard them use the letters OPM. What does it stand for? Other people's money. Okay, can we apply the OP strategy to the internet? Say yes. Oh yeah, how do you do it? Well, why don't we learn to use other people's websites and let them pay for hosting? How about we use other people's shopping carts on the website they're paying for hosting? and the merchant accounts that they're having to pay for every month attached to their website. And there's plenty of businesses out there that already have hundreds of thousands of products. Why couldn't we just tap into them and use other people's products? Then let them do all the shipping and let's focus on where the money comes from. Would that be a better idea? Yes or no? Okay, I'm with you. So I'm going to ask you a question. How would you like to get involved in something once and for all that would require you not to have to sell anything again? No selling. You like that? Okay, good. How do you do not want to have to take calls on the phone, you know, on a regular basis? You don't even have to talk on the phone unless you want to. See your raise hand? Okay, good. Now, you know what? As I meet people here, you're all nice people. I'm going to ask you a question. And you can answer this question being, uh, it's just business, it's not personal. And how many of you like to get involved in something once and for all, where you'll absolutely have no human contact on a daily basis? No human contact? Wow. Okay. How many of you like to get into something once and for all, where you do not have to sign up anybody under you to do something? So, what you're going to, be, what you're going to witness presented here tonight has nothing to do with network marketing. It's not multi-level marketing or anything like that. I'm not gonna say you know, anything about that industry, but it's just tough. You gotta get people under you to be motivated to do things. Is that true? All right. And with these other type seminars out there, the kind of get rich quick people, you know, they have training programs and they often provides with a box full of DVDs and workbooks and things for you to try to figure everything out. Now, I know that some of you have some of these boxes at home. And I know that half of you that have those type boxes at home have never even been open. So don't raise your hand, you know who you are. Now, there, there's a reason for that. It's complicated and the best of the best is have live hands-on training no matter what you're going to do. 
Would you agree to that, yes or no? Okay. So he said you don't want to have to fool with a lot of things, so let's get rid of the website. Shopping carts, products and services, we're going to use other people's. Shipping, let other people do the shipping. There's a lot going on on the internet that we need to take a good look at because things are different and we have to learn to change with change. Yes? So, let's start at the basics. How do you have an email account? Oh, good. Now, how do you have a Facebook account? Facebook? All right, good. Do any of you have a Twitter account where you do some tweeting? Oh, good. All right. I like that. Is anybody on LinkedIn? Professional Network? Anybody on Google Plus? How many go to YouTube sometimes and look at videos? Ah. Okay. So when you go to YouTube, often what do you see first? An advertisement? So you got to click on that little button and watch an advertisement before you watch your video? Interesting, yes. Hmm. Did you know? Did you know that right now YouTube is the second largest search engine? They used to be Google, Yahoo, and MSN. Now it's Google's, YouTube, Yahoo, and MSN. Now three years ago, I would have never thought that, but that's the way it is. Things are changing. There's a lot going on out there in this world on the internet. Let's take a look. What's going on every day? Well, do any of you have what's called a blog? A blog? Okay. Some of you say, what is a blog? Sounds like an old movie. No, it's a blog. So a blog is short for a web blog. It's like an ongoing story or a diary. We'll talk more about those later. But these people are continuing a story or a storyboard is kind of saying what's going on. So there's 150 million blogs being read every day. There's 60 million new Facebook status updates every day. That does not include people that are getting new Facebook accounts. These are just people updating their status. Now, we can profit right here from that knowledge. We can profit from blogs. Blogs are free. All right. There's 140 million new tweets every day. Is there a lot of tweeting going on? Yes or no? Lots of tweeting going on. So, then you have 2 million new videos posted on YouTube every day. And please write this down because this has to do with you. There are 3.3 billion product and information searches done every day. Now, this is going to come into play a little bit later because a lot of you are saying, I want to get into this industry tonight. I know what's coming. And some of you then are going to have a question, what about competition? What about saturation, right? So I'm going to refer you back to this. And then later I'm going to explain why you don't even need to think about and or worry about saturation and competition due to the way search engines work because the advertisements always rotate. We're going to get to that point. Do we have to worry about the internet going out of business? Does it have a competitor? So I call it the new real estate. Think about it. There's not another one. Now the internet has had an increase in growth over the past 2000, 2010, 444%. Do you all agree that the percentage for the next 10 years will be a lot higher? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, yeah. A lot, lot higher. Main point here is that's the World Internet Users by Regions. I'd like you to make a note that there are over a billion Internet users worldwide. So you have a billion people out there. You have all those things going on every day that I just shared with you. So we're also going to profit from this knowledge. That there are people out there, and they're on it every day with all sorts of things. Now, you may have noticed recently that Google was in the news. They invested $14 billion to purchase Motorola's entity that makes mobile devices and cell phones. Bought all the patents out. 
Why? So does that kind of raise an eyebrow, kind of make you wonder why would Google invest $14 billion just to get the rights to all the Motorola's cell phones and mobile devices? And then Hewlett Packard makes an announcement that they're no longer going to be making desktop computers for our home or businesses. They're focusing their manufacturing efforts now primarily and soon to be exclusively on mobile products. Now, if you let that sink in for a minute, does that make you wonder, do they know something that maybe other people do not know? Yes or no? Yeah, it kind of makes you wonder why, because we're talking billions and billions of dollars here. I'll tell you what it is and what it's called. I need you to write it down. This is huge. It's called mobile marketing. Mobile marketing. So, how can you have a cell phone that will access the internet? Straight to me. Wow, a lot of you here. Okay, make a note. There are five billion cell phones activated in the world. Five billion. That's over half the population has a cell phone. Is that amazing? Yes or no? Well, I mean, you see kids, five, six, seven years old, they got a phone, right? Everybody in the family's got a phone. In the businesses, they have phones for their employees and things like that. There's just phones all over the place. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. How many of you can receive a text message on your phone? All right, so let's do a little survey here. I will also participate. When you have a text message come into your phone, how many of you read your messages? Just raise your hands high, kind of keep them up, and look around the room because we're kind of all in this together. So we're reading our text messages, is that correct? All right, let's do another survey. How many of you read every email that you get? Every one of them. Okay, four people. Tell me now, which one is getting the best results? Which one? Did you witness it here tonight? Are more people reading a text message than an email? Yes, sir. Wow. What's happening is this. <laughs> There's about to be a huge market that's barely been tapped. It's called mobile marketing. While back, Anthony sent me an email. And he had attached to it some pictures. So I just made a slide so you could actually take a look at it. And his question was, not only to me, but some other people on our uh, consulting team that, you know, which one he wanted us all to pick one of these pictures that might look good on an internet ad, on a mail piece in the newspaper, even on the TV. So, I like all cell phones with money coming out of me. No chip, yes sir. They didn't really matter to me. However, I picked that one. Why? Big old stack of cash. I figure I like that one because it appears to have the most money in it. But my eye, went right over here, like yours may have, I saw somebody looking over here at the word a billion. Here's what it says. One billion dollars of products was purchased from Amazon using mobile devices. And then it goes on to say the mobile commerce market will grow to 119 billion by 2015. It shows a little pie chart right here. And you see this little blue little sliver? <laughs> that only represents one eighth of that market right now that has been tapped. So the window of opportunity, 2012, 2015, 119 billion, there's a three year window of opportunity to learn a whole lot more about this whole mobile marketing. Wow, do you think there's gonna be people that make a lot of money because they heard about it early, yes or no? You know, you are some of the people that are hearing about this early. There's a lot of people that don't know that this is going to be huge. So we don't want to sit back and wait, you know, and then think like in 2016, 2017, 
Oh, I heard about that. I could have got involved in that. I wish I would have. I could have. We don't want to be in the shit. We could have closed, did we? No. no. When these opportunities come your way, you got to think about it. Grasp the opportunity and move forward. I do not know that much about mobile marketing. I am a student myself. I'm an Anthony student, so I'm still in training. So I'm limited on the information I can give you about mobile marketing, but what I will do is play a video that Anthony created, that Anthony's speaking on, and he will tell you a lot more about mobile marketing. Is that okay? All right. Now, just say yes if you've seen one of these before. Yes. Yes, okay. Now, have they done a really good job at marketing us? Yes or no? Yes. What about our kids? Yeah, yeah. How many hamburgers have they sold? Mm. Billions. Billions. We've lost count. Is that correct? Yeah. So, uh, you also know that there are people that have invest $1.2 million for a McDonald's franchise. $1.2 million. Mm. Now, you might say it seems like a lot of money. Well, wait a minute now. Because the McDonald's accountants and, you know, their franchise operations team can show you that that McDonald's will pay for itself. So business-minded people like yourself, I know when you look at an opportunity, you're thinking about these three letters, R, O, I. And what does it stand for? Return on investment. So if somebody's going to invest $1.2 million, don't you imagine that they want to see or hear how they can, first of all, not only get it back, but continue to make money. Does that make sense? All right, well, <clears throat> let's go back <clears throat> and talk about these investors and business people who do invest $1.2 million in McDonald's franchise. Why? Well, have you seen one that's been boarded up and has clothes written on I have never seen one. Do they build new ones? A lot. And do they now add a second drive through? They have so much business. That's the new thing. Wow. You know that those folks that invest one point two million, the next thing they have to do after they approve, they have to go to school, training. And the name of the school they have to go to is called McDonald's University. Excuse me, Hamburger University. Hamburger U in Illinois for eight weeks. Wow. So, what is it that McDonald's really offering for 1.2 million? I mean, do they have the best fast food you can possibly get? No? Okay. Well, what is it then? Well, I know you do too. Let's write it down. It's called a proven automated system. It's proven. They just work. If you get a McDonald's, you're going to be rich. Now, do you think there are some people that are investing the in 1.2 million in McDonald's? They're actually paying that amount of money to get even richer financially. Would you believe that? Yes or no? It's true. McDonald's owners become billionaires. See, they get their first one, then they're in line to get another one, maybe another. Most of the franchise owners have more than one. There are multi-millionaires. So, what they've invested in is a proven automated system that just works. It's going to work, you're going to get your money right, and you're going to continue to make nice profits from now on. What Anthony Morrison has created for you and others is what I call the McDonald's of internet marketing. Anthony Morrison has created a proven automated system that just works. And I'm going to be sharing this with you tonight. Some of you are going to be amazed at what's really going on inside of what's called affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is really nothing more than a referral business. A referral business. So there's a lot of companies out there that will, will let people like yourself become what's called an affiliate. So you would be allowed to actually drive traffic to some of these very large companies' websites. And when someone makes a purchase, or enters a free trial offer, or enters a name, an email to win like a free 
iPad or something like that. Those are generating leads, leads, and the other ones are going to be generating income from what's called simply commissions because you drove the traffic to that site and somebody makes a purchase, you get paid. So how many of you with me so far? Okay, so that's kind of the basic concept. Well, how does all this work? Well, different ways. First of all, let's take a look. I'm going to be telling you today about an upcoming opportunity. How many of you already figured in your mind that we would share an opportunity tonight with you, something that Anthony Morrison has created? Okay, and what it is is a three-day training class coming back to Canada. Three days hands-on, all about affiliate marketing. So just kind of put yourself in that seat when I say it at this three-day training for a moment. The best thing you can learn how to do right now, if you want to change your financial future, is learn this, how to drive traffic. Not wasting time building a website, trying to find products to put on there. Because remember, websites are already there. Those companies already have products. Yes, are you with me? Yes. Okay. So if we can train you to drive traffic to your page, your page is what's going to be referred to as a web page, not a web site, a web page. So a web page, I'm going to show you some. It's just a page that may have, you know, four to six pictures of a product on it and then text writing about that product. Okay, so it's a little bit different than a website because web pages do not have merchant accounts. They don't have shopping carts and things like that. So we want to get you to this, this level so you know how to drive traffic to your web page, which will send somebody to a company, for example, Best Buy. Best Buy already has a website. Yes? How many of you seen it before? All right, so they already have one. Does Best Buy spend a lot of money advertising in all different types of media? Yellow page, TV newspaper, magazines, billboard, mail out to you, name it. They're advertising, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. This type of advertising is an expense and often it's going to have to be paid for when? Up front. Now, Best Buy, they like affiliates like you. Here's why. It's their lowest cost form of advertising. Affiliates drive traffic and send people to that website. Best Buy and Return will pay out commission. Oh, huh, interesting. Hmm. So, what they like about it is Best Buy only has to pay an affiliate marketer when results are delivered. So when somebody makes a purchase, then that's when they pay the affiliate. Who's with me on that? Okay, so does this tie a lot of their money? No, and they only, you only get paid when something sells. Is that correct? Yes or no? All right, good. Now, that's basically how websites work and things like that. And we're going to come back to this. But now, let's switch gears just a moment and go to Facebook. And those of you who have Facebook, your page may look something like that. This is a screenshot of my Facebook page. Now, when you open up an account with Facebook, how much does it cost you? Zero. Do you have to fill out what they call a profile? Yes. So does it ask you, you know, where you were born, married, single, kids, what do you do, where do you work, where do you go to school, high school, college, you know, what is your career? What's your hobbies, likes, interests? It just gathers a lot of information. Is that correct? Yes or no? Yeah. All right, let me tell you quickly about some of the information that I put on my status when I got on Facebook. I own an organic blueberry farm, so I got that in there. I like to ride Harley Davidson motorcycles, and that's in there. I've invested in real estate for many years, so I send them a real estate investor. I'm an internet marketer, now that's in there. Hobbies and likes and interests. I like music. I like country. I like rock and roll. Okay. I'm a speaker. That's in there. I'm also an auctioneer. So that's in there too. 
Wow, so that's a little bit of my personal information. So I like kind of the information you put in your Facebook status, right? I took a screenshot of my page one day. Let's take a look at the page itself. First, over here, this is the friendly side, yes? Got your picture, and this is where you might place a post, and all the things going on, that sort of thing. Here's all your friends tapping and carrying on over here. Take a look at this word, sponsor. You've seen that before? And then there's one, two, three, four ads on that page of mine. Those are called PPC ads, pay per click. This sort of pay per click. All right, how does that work? Pay per click. Well, since this is a Facebook, would be an advertising account, Facebook, Facebook likes to get somewhere, I don't know, between 20 cents and 30 cents every time somebody clicks on an ad. You don't have to pay a dime until somebody clicks. But if it's 30 cents per click, if an ad's clicked on three times, that's getting close to a dollar. Is that true? Yes or no? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Check this out. Now, notice that the first ad up here has to do with family farms. So why do I have an ad on my page about family farms? And you may not. Why is that? Because I have one. Is that true? Oh, and then the next ad is all these are placed there by affiliates like you will be, okay? So the next one is this young female artist, some affiliates promoting her new CD. It says right here that she blends the best of any face country with a hearty dose of rock and roll. <laughs> Does that sound familiar to you? And the next one has to do with some network so they want me to join that, probably because I'm having their little speaker. The next ad there has something to do with owning real estate. Have I been targeted, yes or no? Yes, yes I have. Have you? Yes, you have. Can I prove it to you? Yes. When you get home and you check your Facebook, look at your ads. All of the ads on your Facebook page are directly related to your status that you filled out. If you say, no, it's not, and then I already know then why it's not. Because I've already tried this. I posted right on this line, we make posts. I'm taking a Harley Davidson trip with my brother to East Tennessee, North Carolina, to the Smoky Mountains. So, not no big deal. I logged out. Later logged back in. I had new ads. First ad that popped up was 25% off Smoky Mountain Hotels. Click here now. The next ad had to do with a Harley Davidson GPS aftermarket park GPS. That will fit any Harley. Interesting? And then the next one was an ad from AAA. And the next ad was on there was a discount travel coupon book. They wanted me to click on. All because I posted that I'm taking a Harley trip with my brother and I said, where? Now, are they sending back reading all this information? No. No. What they have, search engines have what's referred to as spiders. I'm going to change that up so you kind of get a visual of what's really happening. Like on Facebook, it's like a screen that's coming up from the bottom every split set. And you're just grabbing key words. Harley, trip, farm. You know what I'm saying? Different key words. Bring them up to the top. They take those words and put them in these categories. You can call them a filing system if you want to, because we're all familiar with how filing systems work, correct? What Facebook has done is capture all the information and put these in categories by demographics. Age, male, female, 
married and single, married with children, and on and on and on and on. So we can do what's called, write this down, direct target marketing. Direct. Yeah. That means that we can place an ad directly on somebody's Facebook page, which is great because we already know their likes and their interests. Because we can get that information from Facebook. Now, we don't get anybody's names. It's just a bunch of numbers. For example, Kevin in the back back right there. Raise your hand, Kevin, so they'll all know you. He is from Spokane, Washington, where he has a very large carpet cleaning business. Now, you notice that Kevin is here. Is that true? So he has, you know, partners and other people doing the carpet cleaning, but they advertise exclusively on Facebook. They don't advertise in the newspaper, yellow pages, radio, or TV all on Facebook. So you can narrow down and direct target, like he does, females only in Spokane, Washington, from ages 25 and up. And it's a 25% off on having the carpets cleaned in your home. Now, is he, has he defined it right down to the market that he lives in and where the business is, yes or no? Okay, and then there's other parts of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, that's close by, so then he'll do another campaign for that area. Now, are you kind of, are you, who's feeling me right now? Is this working for you, yes or no? Does this make sense? So if I already know what you might be looking for, and can put it right in front of you. Have I just increased my chances? I'm talking about huge percentage points here of having you click on an ad, yes or no? Oh, yes. Okay. Having said that, I want to introduce you to Adrian Morrison. We've seen Anthony before, we've seen him on TV. He's on the mail pieces, he's everywhere, all right? Adrian Morrison, that's his brother. Now, Adrian was going to be the lawyer in the family. Now, who do you think paid for Adrian to get into law school? Anthony did. So, who bought Adrian's car? Anthony. So, who gave him a credit card? Anthony. So, was Anthony become like the breadwinner of the Morrison household? Yes or no? Yes. Well, he's bringing in so much money. The answer is yes. About the third year of law school, he came in one weekend. Came home, Anthony was over his parents' house. Adrian said to his brother, Anthony, I've been thinking a lot about life. I'm getting older, you know. I'm going to be graduating in about a year from the first four years of law school. It's a lot of things across my mind. He said, you know, one thing I want to do is I just need to thank you because I've kind of taken things for granted. I know that you pay for everything. I charge things on a credit card. I never see the bill. You pay the parent's house off. Everybody's got a new car. You know, thank you. And he said, but I want to know more about what you do because I know you make money on the internet, but you don't have a real job. And he said, well, no. And Andy said, well, you're always on the internet, you're in the room working on the computer, but then you leave, get all dressed up, go out to eat, and drive a fancy car, and all that stuff. So, Anthony, yeah, well. Adrian said, well, can you tell me how to do this? Now, he's been in college, you know, that's three years, right? His brother's made millions, and finally, he asked his brother, can you teach me how to do it? Anthony said, yes. Matter of fact, I'll tell you how I make money on the internet, and then I'm going to show you how I make money. Then I'll just sit back and watch you make money. And he said to his brother, Adrian, and you will become totally financially independent for the rest of your life. Adrian said, show me how. I'd keep this real short. The semester prior to Adrian Morrison graduating the first four years of law school, he was bringing in the laptop and computer in his dorm room. Are you ready for this? $50,000 a month. 50000 a month. I know it's hard to believe. But we've got documented evidence. And everything I tell you is being recorded. Adrian Morrison has a new book out right now. He is, he is being interviewed on Success TV. Some of you may have seen this already. So, 
Adrian Morrison made a decision after he graduated that because he was doing so well that he really didn't want to complete law school. He just took his degree for college for four years, and this is all he does full time. Now, Adrian Morrison is also a multi-millionaire, and he's one of the top 10 super affiliates in the U.S. and Canada, and recognized as such in two other countries. Think about this. Mr. Morrison had lost all of his money. A crisis, right? And now two sons are multi-millionaires. Sometimes things happen on purpose. I mean, I don't know. What, what do you think? Will you agree? Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. Is that right? Wow. Adrian is fantastic when it comes to marketing and social media. So if Adrian was here tonight, he'd tell you, my brother Adrian is much better at marketing on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and blogs and LinkedIn and Google Plus than I am. He would tell you that. Wow. Interesting. It could be something as simple as an ad like this, a small ad that you place on Facebook. So how many of you have heard of Hooked on Phonics? Hooked on Phonics? Okay. Now, if you're going to run a small version of this on Facebook, you tell me, just kind of, you can let me know, shout it out, who would you market it to if you could target your demographic? Who would you be looking for? Go ahead. Parents? Okay. What's that? Teachers. Teachers? Hmm, I like that. That's good. All right. Newlyweds? <laughs> what? Oh, newlyweds? Okay, good. Absolutely. All right. Now, we can get that information from Facebook. Let's just say we're going to focus first on, I don't know, pick a region, pick a country, pick a state, whatever. Look for, I would say, probably married couples 45 years and younger with children between 1 and 15. Would that be a good direct target marketing? Yes or no? Yes. Demographic? Okay. So, and all of them have heard of face, I mean, they've heard of hooked on phonics. So, if somebody wants to sign up for a 30 day risk free trial offer, it's only $14.95. Now, they get the whole package, is that correct? Is a test. That's not bad to try it out. Do you think that most people who order that will keep it? Yes or no? All right, just because of that right there, somebody clicks on that, you would get paid out $47 for a lead. Now, it doesn't matter if they keep it or not. Once you get that payout $47, that's yours. Are you out with me? Okay, wow. Now, I want to show you something, but before I do, I want to tell you what I'm going to show you. This is a screenshot of Adrian Morrison's campaigns that he's running on Facebook. And he started this campaign I'm about to show you. And what a campaign is, is nothing but an ad. And where it's placed, Facebook, Google, Yahoo, Twitter, wherever. Okay? And the time period that ad is on there is simply called an ad campaign. Does that make sense? Okay, check this out. I talked to Adrian on April 16th and had Adrian email me a screenshot of one of his campaigns on Facebook. Now, let's take a look at it. You see the dates right here. And it is, in fact, a screenshot from Adrian Morrison. Just look around here in this top corner. Right there, you see his name? Okay, that's on the screenshot. He did all the work at the end of March, took him about four hours, <coughs> and he was all set up to go. He launched a campaign on Facebook. Now, did you see how what the size was of those ads on Facebook? Were they all the same? Adrian Morrison knows how to do what's called a split ad. He actually gets two advertisements in there in one space. Is that smart? Yes or no? And Facebook's okay with that. 
on one split ad campaign starting April 1st in 16 days, because that's when I talked to him and he sent it to him, he had already generated an income $26,258. Now, what was he doing from April 1st to the 16th with his campaign? Did he go in there and work on it every day? Nothing. Nothing. No, he set it up, he lets it run. Does that make sense? Is $26,000 a lot of money for, you know, a couple of weeks? Yes or no? Yes. Well, you're talking though about an expert. You know, he was making $50,000 a month before he graduated from college. So is his results unique to him? I don't want you to think for a moment, and I'm not going to keep my promise to you, I'm not going to make you hollow promises and much of fun, but this is real. This is A.J. Morrison's screenshot. Now, he makes a lot more money than this. So I don't want you to think when you leave here tonight, or if you decide you want to get involved in the three-day training program I'm going to tell you about, within the first week or two, you're going to be making, you know, $26,000. Results are unique and they will vary, vary per person. Would you all agree with me on that? Yes or no? Yes? Okay. But how many of you love to be able to do something like that? That's a good thing, yes? Wow. Facebook, I told you, they would like to have between like 20 and 30 cents every time somebody clicks on one of those ads. All right, look right here. This is what they wanted. 28 cents, 26 cents, 27 cents, 29, 28. You see that? That's what Facebook wants him to pay. That is not what Avery Lawrence pays. Here's what he paid. Two cents. One cent. One cent, one cent, one cent, one cent, one cent, one cent, two, 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 three cents, three cents, and four cents. And he generated 89,000 clicks. Wow. Okay. So, Dave, that, that cost him $800 in advertising. Really? Who cares? How much did he make? $26,258. Is that pretty good? Yes, sir. Wow. Now, wouldn't you like to know how to advertise on Facebook and only pay a penny to a penny and a half to two or three and no more than four cents? Per ad. Who would be interested? Do you think you can make a lot more money and change your financial future? Maybe in a short period of time. Does that possibility <laughs> exist? Absolutely it does. Now, if you want to do something like this, you're going to need a competitive advantage. Let me ask you this question though first. How many like to just hang out with Adrian Morrison? You know, two or three, four or five days or whatever. Just hang around and watch what he does. Can, you, can I see a raise of things? You like to hang out with Adrian? All right. What is a competitive advantage anyway? Well, if you're going to get plugged into an industry, or you're going to need training, or you're going to need tools, support, you're going to need to know how to do things and maybe have a, you know, like the one up or advantage over other people. Are you all with me, yes or no? Quick example is when you recognize this gentleman. What's your name? Yeah, that's Michael Phelps. All right. Did he win eight gold medals? Do you think he had a trainer and a coach? Oh, yeah. you think that coach had him swimming at night when he was already tired? Did he have a regimented workout routine? Special diet? The list goes on. Was he seriously committed to win those gold medals, yes or no? Absolutely. Now, take a look at his body. There's another competitive day until for Michael. This guy is six feet five. Fingertip to fingertip, he's six feet seven inches. I call his wingspan. He's longer this way than he is tall. Hands twice the size of mine. Where's size 15 shoe? So when he takes his shoes off, what do his feet become? Like flippers. So when he jumps into the water, is he almost to the other side? Yes or no? Yes. Wow. 
Do you all think that I could compete with him swimming? No. What no, he probably not. Quit. No, look at you. You need to work out. I, I try lifting weights. They're too heavy. I don't like doing that. But anyway, you think I can compete with Michael Phelps? Make him run that bit of yes or no? You think yes. I like this thing that he don't know, yes or no? Yes. Are we all good at different things? Yes. How many of you are good at what you do? You're good at what you do. Raise your hand. How many of you suck at what you do? Raise your hand. How many of you to raise your hand no matter what I ask? That's fair. Okay. So did you come here to eat? <laughs> How do you get good at what you do? Participate. Do you want to make money? Come on. Thank you. Now, how did you get that way? Somebody told you what you'd be doing. Somebody showed you how to do it. Somebody watched you do it and do you a very good at it. True, yes or no? Yes. That's true. Okay. Wow. How do you think that you could train me how to do what you do? How do you train me how to do what you do in like 20 minutes or an hour 25 minutes? And be as good as you are. And now I don't expect you much of hand. Okay? And you're right. So that's why we're going to have a three-day training program. Here are the dates. Write them down, please. It'll be May 18th, 19th, and 20th. May 18th, 19th, and 20th. A three-day billion. Marketing course, because if you really want to get good at this industry, it's going to take some training, some tools, some knowledge, and know how. So you're not going to be out there struggling like a lot of people are trying to make money on the internet. So if this is something that's exciting for you, it's just going to be you and your computer. You're not going to need any business cards. You're not going to be marketing your friends. You might say, wow, David, I, I don't have but 10 friends on Facebook. You're not ever going to market those 10 friends of yours. Nothing. Are you all with me on that? Okay, so how many you know how using a mouse to point, click, and drag and drop? Okay, those of you who don't know, can you play solitaire? <laughs> okay, well, if you can play solitaire, you can point, click, drag, and drop. Because that's how you move the cars. So anybody in this room that can do that, play a game on the computer, you can be really good at being an affiliate marketer. All right? So don't get too worried about these days. I know some of you are looking at saying, well, that's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I can't make it Friday because I have to work and all that. See, that's yeah, that's the left brain, right brain, brain deal. You know, your left brain already knows that there's a successful person inside every body in this room. Sometimes that little right brain will get up and start talking. You can't go. You got to work. <laughs> Take a day off that Friday. Call in sick. Whatever. You'll be all right. Take a vacation day. Just don't tell them what you're sick of. Okay, now, for the majority, these dates will be fine. So if you can have questions about other dates and things like that, our consultants will discuss that with you at the end of the program. Now that you have that, let's keep going. Rules of business. Is it going to take some time to really understand and grasp the things I'm going to share with you tonight before I'm finished? What do you think? Yes or no? That's why those of you who are truly interested, that's why we need three days with you. We need three days. Now, how many of you went to college? Okay, so you already believe in education, correct? All right, good. I'm promoting education and training here. I realize it's only three days, but that's all you really need to learn how to do this. And here's why because they have created a proven automated system. You're not
not going to have to figure out a lot of old school things like you may have had to three or four years ago or two years ago. It's just different now. We have to change with change. Now, how do you, I'm just curious, you're going to have to also put in more time after the class for this to work. Now, we say it's best for you to spend about 45 minutes to an hour a day, five days a week. So is that doable? Yes or no? I can assume that a lot of you have already, you're going to be checking your email, looking at a Facebook account. You're already logged in in there. Would it be a good idea to do a few other things while you're logged in the internet to absolutely change your financial situation? No matter what it is. For the better, yes or no? Okay. Yes. Now, so it's going to take an effort. So this is not like those get rich quick circus tent shows that come through your town and make a bunch of hollow promises and hype, load you down with books and videos, put you in some class and they don't care if you make it or not. Most people that go to those classes end up coming out and never doing anything. How can you know somebody went to a real estate class or a stock market investing class and never did nothing when they got home? Very you know somebody. Hmm, oh, so it's true? Okay. And well, let Satan Circus Show be back in town for you to get rich again in three months. Yes or no? Yeah, that's what they do. They run TV and commercial. You have been invited because at some point you have indicated you have an interest in making money on the internet or you would not have gotten an attention. So I don't know where you did that, but you did. Okay. So you are special. You are special. Okay? So it's going to take a little bit of effort. Money is not going to show up in your mailbox if you don't do something. So, money. Is money an ingredient for success? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, yes. And here's what I do believe. I don't believe that everybody has to be me or necessarily want to be a millionaire. I just don't believe it. I think that people simply like to become what's called financially content. So what? Work a system and learn how to make a few hundred dollars in the beginning. So I think people like to pay off their bills on time, have a few hundred dollars a month left over in the beginning. So what you are a hundred heir. Who'd be alright to make a hundred heir? You would? Yes or no? What's the next logical step? Maybe you make a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars? Two thousand, three thousand, four, ten thousand dollars? You know, that's going to be up to you. Is that correct? There's only one person that can stop you from getting to where you want to be financially, and that is you. Is that correct? Some of you are going to have what's called a paradigm shift tonight. And simply that's the way we view the world versus reality. Because everything that I'm talking about is real. There's no fun here. No high. This is, this is the way the internet will work. It will work for you. So I just want you to know, I learned something a while back from the gentleman. You may know, who's heard of Zig Zig? Zig Ziglar, okay. Written a lot of books and materials, big motivator, business guy. Uh, it was his training class, we were talking about the whole thing about people trying to get rich quick and life does not work. And it's pretty simple. And Zig Ziglar put it like this. Some people just don't understand what it's going to take to be financially First, they must understand what's called art. The speed of going slow correctly. Art and speed going slow. So, you can start. Mom and dad, go out there and do this real estate stock market thing. Blah, blah, blah. So, okay. 
I'm going to think of your computer at home and or your laptop's going to be around you for a long time to come, yes or no? You're going to be logging in anyway. Is that true, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. So, you can look at it like this. You're going to have a computer anyway. You don't have to go out and call for sale by owners to buy real estate. You don't have to analyze stocks mm -hmm. every day. That's real risky anyway. Look what happened to Mr. Morrison. Hmm. So, this is actually saved for risk free. And I like it. And I think you will too. Money, you think there will be an investment in this three day training program? Yeah. Yes. All right. And I'm going to tell you up front, right now. Now, I know other speakers at these other Get Rich Quick Circus Tent Revival type Get Rich seminars. When do they like to tell you the cost? At the end. Yeah. Why? Is that? At the end. That's a good cost. They take you on a roller coaster ride, right? Starts out at, you know, two or twenty thousand dollars. They keep marking it down, right? Okay. Let's don't do that and play a bunch of games. This is education to what you need if you want to get in this industry. So I will tell you early, and here's why. I want you to see for the rest of my presentation if the value outweighs the cost. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I want you to be thinking about those three letters. Return on investment. Now, the retail anytime offer that you've probably seen on the internet, it is $5,995. That's the anytime offer. Well, <laughs> here is $2,990. That would be for you and a spouse, you and a partner, you and a significant other, or you bring a guest, that is for two people. Now, you might look at that and say, wow, that's like $3,000. That's a lot of money. Well, it may be you don't have it. One of my goals for you here tonight is this. Those of you who think that's a lot of money, I don't always want you to think like that. And I don't think you want to either. Is that okay? Now, yeah. the next question is $3,000 is a lot of money compared to what? Compared to what? Well, people go out and buy a 72 inch screen TV, have it mounted on the wall, HD, 3D, yes or no? Are they over $3,000? Will people put $3,000 down on the car? Yes or no? Check yeah. people's closets, you know, look at the clothes, the shoes, the jewelry, <laughs> the list goes on. See, if it's a consumer feel good item, it doesn't matter what it costs. We will find a way to get it, right? Because we like that kind of stuff. Hmm. Don't get too caught up on that right now. Now, I want you to write this down. Those of you who are going to be interested, because you haven't even seen yet what you get for that investment. Everyone wants those of you who are serious to get enrolled tonight. Go take the class Friday the 18th. Write down, write down, write down. It will give you a Friday guarantee to go to class. If it is not everything that I promised you, or you just don't like it and feel like it's not for you, well, you can see the staff in the back of the room at the three day training. They will give you a 100% refund on your tuition. Does that make this a little more safe and risk free? Just raise your hand if you think it does. Thank you very much. I would totally agree with you. You'll never see other companies doing that. So buckle your seat belts. Here we go. I'm going to show you some inside things. If you want to call them secrets, that's okay. On the internet, when it comes to affiliate networks, there are only two types. One is called a private affiliate network. The other is called a public affiliate network. An affiliate network is a network of a group of companies within this one network where they allow you, the affiliates, to drive traffic to their website. 
And when someone makes a purchase or a lead is generated, you would get paid a commission or be paid a fee for a lead. That's what it comes down to. Now, you need to know this though. Here's what most people do not know. And why are some people making so much money and others are not? Here's why. There's only six private networks. There are hundreds of public networks. Now, here's another difference. Anybody can sign up for a public network. Anybody. Private networks are very elite and exclusive for affiliates and often reserved only for what's called a super affiliate. Now, what's the definition of a super affiliate? Well, that's a person who has made commissions of over $150,000 in a 12-month period. Then they may be invited into a private network. My analogy is this. The private network is like an elite country club on the internet. Is it hard sometimes to get into a country club? Sometimes you have to live in a certain neighborhood or a townhouse or condos or something, yes or no. Sometimes you can need a sponsor. And sometimes can you pay your way in? Yes or no? Okay, those of you who like to be here tonight, listen to this very close. At the three-day training program, during a consultation with you, one-on-one -on -one consultation, they are going to set up an account for you inside a private network. It's the same network that Anthony Morrison, Adrian Morrison are in. Do the Morrisons own the network? No. No. Do you think they pick the best network to be? Yes, I do. Now, due to the fact that these gentlemen are the top in the industry, do you think that this network favors these gentlemen a little bit? Yes or no? Do they have some what you call clout within that network? Yes or no? Okay. <coughs> Write down this name. I'm going to give you your speaker's name for the upcoming three-day training program. You ready? Okay, it's Adrian Morrison. Anthony's brother. He's the guy that's going to be coming back to train you in three days. He's the multi-millionaire with the new book out. He's a super affiliate. So do you think you could learn a whole lot from Adrian Morris in three days, yes or no? Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Now. So let me get this straight, Dave. They're going to set up an account for me inside a private network. Yes. Now, what's inside this private network? Over 2,500 of the world's largest corporations are inside this private network. They already have websites. Now, pick a company. It doesn't matter. Walmart, Best Buy, Macy's, any company you can think of. I'm sure they're going to be in there. Within this private network, you can see a list of companies by name in alphabetical order. And there's another section inside the private network. You will be issued a login number where you can log into this private network software program and take a look at what's going on inside this network. Here's what I like. You can log in that network and say, what were the top 12 products sold on the internet yesterday? And it'll come up on the screen, and you can see all the time of them. What? Yeah. I wonder would that give you a competitive advantage, yes or no? You think so? So for you to know the top 12 products that sold on the internet yesterday, this has a software program running full-time, real-time analytics and tracking. So it's keeping up with everything going on. Wow. And you can look at that? Yes. Now these big companies, they have advertising agencies creating to write all of their ads. Those ads are downloaded to the private network software, and you're going to be using ads from those companies. 
Are you all with me on this? Yes, I know. Yes. Are you going to have to write yes. ads? No. No more ad writing. That's old school. You don't have to write ads anymore. We're going to use those companies' ads that have been designed to work on the internet. What? Okay, I'm like this. Hmm. Also, within the network software, you can look and see what's called a click chart. It's a column that shows you these different companies, and every time somebody clicks on any of your ads, you'll see a click. Well, that's great. You want a lot of clicks. Well, what you want to see more of is column two title conversions. So if somebody clicks, and then they follow through and make a purchase, that is a conversion. Now the next column is called commissions. So you can look at your commission reports and see how much money is coming in. It's as simple as logging into your computer, logging on to the internet. It's, it's that simple to look inside. Wow. So why is more money inside the private network? Well, Commissions, number one, they pay out 35% commissions. Public networks pay 15% and less. Wow. Does that change the game a little bit right there? Yes or no? Hmm, interesting. At the three-day training, you're going to learn more about an affiliate manager and how an affiliate manager can help you. So they manage affiliate network, products, and websites. Now, I don't want to get too in detail on what affiliate managers want to do, but they will help you. They're not coaches, they're not mentors, they're just managing. So example, when Apple came out with the iPad 3, who remembers that? What was it, four or five weeks ago? Remember, anybody remember that? iPad 3, all right. Uh, when did most people hear about it? See all the advertisements. Wasn't about a week before they you let people buy them? Uh-huh, okay. Well, our students knew about it about 14 weeks ago. The ads from Apple were already downloaded in private network. You know, you couldn't place the ad until the affiliate manager released the launch button. Then you've got to run Apple's ads. Not something you wrote, but I'm talking about the company. Why? All these marketing ads are in the private network software. Click tracking, conversion reporting, all the payments coming into you. And if any of the websites in the private network has an update, you're going to get an email from the affiliate manager telling you that Best Buy just updated their website. That's all. Now, can you go to the private network and take a look at it and see what changes they make? Yes, sir. Or could you go to www.bestbuy.com and .ca, whatever, and look at it yourself? Yes, sir. All right. The main bullet right here is you'll have access to hundreds of money making keyword is exclusive affiliate offers. These are offers that the public side just don't have. Just don't happen. Now, as far as your payouts, you can read your payouts, your commissions, when they came in, they're all going to go into an online bank account of yours, and you'll know the direct cost of how much it was and when this money came in from the private network. They pay out uh, sometimes once a month, sometimes twice, depending on the particular company that you're getting commissions from. Is this not kind of interesting? Yes, no. Okay, check this out. Let's just go inside the private network and take a look at some of the ads and some of the companies we're going to get to represent as affiliates inside the private network. Okay. Do you all recognize this company? Is that AT&T? That is yeah. their ad. Where did we get it from? Right inside the private network. You can run that ad. Nobody else can. Interesting, yes or no? Huh. Okay. 
So that's a good looking ad. Would you agree? Who moved it? AT&T's advertising agency. Are they good at writing ads? Yes or no? Yes. Sure. All right. Let's take a look at another one. This is dentalplans.com. When somebody puts a zip code in here, they're looking for a dental plan or a dentist. Put their zip code in. Next thing they're going to put in is an email, probably the name and address. And every time they do that, you're going to get paid sixty-eight dollars because they put that information in there. Did you sell them anything? Yes or no? Is that a good looking at? Did people type in the keyword dental or dental plans? Yes or no? Yeah, all the time. Hmm, all right. Have you seen this before? Maybe on television. Yeah. E Harmony? You know, because love begins here. That's what he said. Look how nice David and Linda. <laughs> Aren't they a nice little couple? I like that. So if somebody goes to the eHarmony site, this one is yours. You can run this ad. It came from eHarmony. So the ads that you can look at out there were probably from another affiliate. It's not coming from these folks. But so if somebody fills out the name and their information, they want to find the match, you will get paid. 58 bucks. Do you hope that they put in more than one time and look for several matches? Yes or no? You don't get paid that much more. Give me two minutes. Wow, that's the harmony. Okay. Credit.com. <coughs> right There's always every time that some people on television people get your check, credit check for free, things like that. Yes or no? This is the number one credit check network. It's called Credit.com. All those ones you see on television, those are just names. They're all linked to this one. This is the only real one. The rest of them is just the name. Okay? Wow. They're the private network. You can use this app. Yeah. Let's say we go inside the private network. Now that I've told you about it, listen, we can actually look at what's called the dashboard right here. That part right there. So in a search term or a company, pair offers or whatever. So an example, I'm going to use American Express. I'm going to the A's. Just put American Express or any company you can think of and click search. They're in the network. It's going to show up on this page. It's also going to show up the offers that they have on the internet. This tells me that there are 28 results for American Express. They have 28 offers on the internet. This is coming straight from American Express. Now, let's say we like the top one. Here's why. Always look at payout. The payout is $150. That is per lead. Now, if you get somebody on American Express's website, Fill out some information to get a credit card. You're going to get paid one hundred and fifty dollars for that platinum card. All right, now listen to this: the public network. They have American Express in there too, but you only get paid when somebody's approved for a credit card. You see a big difference, yes or no? Wow. I like this one, and it tells us a category to place the ads. So let's click on this blue, light blue, and see what's next. And up next, it's going to show us the ad from American Express. And it's going to tell us, once again, it's the business platinum card, and it'll tell us right here, uh, well, look at this, it says, higher payouts available for quality volume. So what they're actually telling you right here is this. They will pay you more than $150. Is that what they're saying? I can tell you how high they go. $300. Because when one of those, they're going to usually get $150 just for the lead. When it, if they're approved, you're going to get another $150 because it's $300. So when two of those actually pay for this clients, yes or no? It's two of one product, just one thing. Okay? Kind of look at it like that. Well, if you need demographics, click on this, 
And you need keywords. Click on keywords. But I'm going to tell you something. You don't need that. Why? Proven automated system. Now I'm going to get your attention. You ready? I'm going to show you right now why people are making money. With a proven automated system, and some people are not making money. Some people also think they know everything. How many of you know somebody like that? You know those type of people? Okay? Well, they're rich and broke. People love to give you advice sometimes, yes or no. Are they rich or broke? Most cases, rich or one. Thank you. Yeah. See, I love it because I can watch you all from up here. I already know those of you who are totally serious because I'm watching you. When I ask you to write down things, you're writing down things. Other people laughing and giggling. That's okay. They're laughing and giggling later when they look at their financial statements in the future and they're broke. We don't need this and I'm about to show you why. That's the ad. So let's click on the full landing page preview so I can see that whole ad. Boom. There it is. So before we run it, do we want to take a good look at it? Yes or no? So we're about to run this ad. Do you like this ad? Does it look clean and crisp? Is it really American Express? There's their phone number. Yes or no? Okay. Hold this thought. I want to show you something here. If you go to www.americanexpress.com, that is their website right there. How many of you have the American Express card? You do? All right. You may have been here before, and if you look it up, you'll see this right here. This is where card members log in, check their balances and pay their bill. Now, this is American Express's web page. Notice what they're doing right here. What are they doing? Advertising something else. This, they're not advertising a credit card, they're advertising like Vente Pave, some kind of, um, something that's now available that you can say what the 70% of the world's uh, leading luxury fashion brands. That's what American Express is on the page. All right, let's just face it. Does American Express get a lot of traffic to this home page? Yes or no? It's just automatic. Is that what you all agree with? Yes or no? Thousands and hundreds of thousands of people in American Express every day. Yes or no? So where's a good place the place they say and run here that's inside the product network and save you a lot of time and headache from trying to learn about keywords, search engine optimization, and all this other stuff. How about this? Let somebody go to AmericanTrust.com since we have access to their ads and we are in fact an affiliate partner, we can use that ad. Why don't we just put it right there on top of the American Express's home page? How do you think that's probably a good idea? Could you raise your hand on that one? Yes or no? What did you just do? I just put that ad on top of the American Express's page that already has traffic. What? Yeah. Well, look at their page. Is that boring? If you want a credit card, where would you go? Way down here it says, get the card that's best for you. I like this better, don't you? So when somebody clicks apply now, fills out the information, would you get paid on the lead? Yes or no? How much? $150. And where did you get the traffic? Where did you get the traffic? Anybody know? People that are already going to American Express. Did we pull any tricks? No. Well, you might be wondering, well, does American Express, don't they get married? No, they want you to do this. I can tell you all now, everybody can out there. Those of you who've been rolling the training program, you will be so.
certified by Adrian Morrison, and you are going to be able to do things like this, right? Mm -hmm. If you can't see this as an incredible opportunity, I don't know what it's going to take. Maybe one more. Okay, then let's go to Best Buy. That is Best Buy's own page. That's what it looks like. That's Best Buy. So since we have access to Best Buy ads, where's a good place for us to place a Best Buy ad? Well, here's one for a thousand dollar gift card in private network. Let's look at that one. I know where to put it. Bam! Right on top of Best Buy's own page. Good idea, yes or no? Do they already have traffic? And a bunch of it. Do you think that people actually put their email address in there? And click continue and fill out the name and address for them so that they can get in line for a free one thousand dollar best buy gift card. So you just generated the lead. Wow, that's a good lead. You're looking at about a sixty dollar lead. What? You put that ad right on top of Best Buy's page. I know. How do you think that's a good idea? Mm -hmm. And I'm not doing it. It's a software program that's doing it. And it's permission marketing because Best Buy, American Express, and these other companies allow you to do this. How many of you have never heard of this before? Ever? So if you don't raise your hand, I can see you've all heard of it. Okay, I don't believe you. Well, anyway, Allstate, Amazon, Walmart, Target, all these companies, all these companies. They're inside the network. At the Great Training Program, you're going to learn a whole lot more about how Google really works. Yahoo, Bing, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Amazon. You know more about AdSense, AdWords, even eBay. How do they money on eBay without selling anything? But we're going to just make place an ad when somebody searches for something. All right. Groupon, LivingSocial.com, Organic Strategies, that's free search traffic. Email marketing, display marketing. Some more topics of gravity rates, cost per sales, cost per leads, cost per action, market quarters, quarters, associated selling, PPC, drip marketing, coupon marketing, you might as well circle that because that's what I do show you how to do. That's called permission marketing. We have permission from the companies in the network to place their ads on top of their own home page. How is that possible? <laughs> Go to the three-day training and you'll never let it. All right. Now, I want to show you a software program that the Morrisons have invested $2 million to create for you. Now, all it's going to do is build one-page web pages big secret. If you want to know some secrets, stay tuned. You see all of this right there? I'm about to unveil something huge to you. So, we're going to take a look at this little software program. It's the MyAffiliateBuilder.com software. It's going to build those one-page web pages for you with those ads. So, here's the dashboard. The Adrian training how to do this live at the 3-day training. We're going to pick a landing page. Bam. Click your affiliate office. Here we got Apple, Sony, and Swim. Move your Google AdSense up here. Move the MailChimp over here so you can go email and submit if you want to. That page is built in less than 20 seconds, and it's going to look like that. Very clean, very crisp. Do you need more than one affiliate offer? Say yes. All right, you need to know how to work with search engines like Google to get a lot of traffic fast, but you need to know the inside of Google, Yahoo, and MSN. And those of you who like social media, using Social Ads Pro, it will automate all your tweets. You don't have to write them. You can increase your traffic, landing page generator with the Facebook app. It's going to connect with Facebook and going to do all that for you. That's just called automation. Is that true? Yes or no? Yep. Wow. Now, if you were going to start a business where you sell fish to some market or something. Fish, you're going to get the fish in the industry. Would you start with a little boat and maybe a rod and a reel? Would you probably starve and have to eat your own fish? 
So if you're serious about making a lot of money in the fishing industry, what size boat would you have? A big boat. Would you have poles, rods, and reels, and hooks? Or what would you have? So you tell me you have nets. Remember when I pointed to all those web page, web pages that were coming at you? It would take a lot of absolutely just go ahead and get rich with internet marketing. And I don't sell them, I don't hardly ever to say that, but I'm going to tell you all. Here's the deal. Those one page web pages, that's like throwing out a line in the water, right? With bait on it. One of those acts. I agree with you, if we're going to get in fishing business, we need nets, correct? You want to know the underlying secret to making a fortune on the internet? You ready? Those one page web pages. The more you have out there, the more customers you're going to get. The more commissions you're going to have, the more money you're going to make. Here's what's great about those one page web pages. The text, the writing in the page has already been what's called optimized. It's totally relevant best information you can get about those products is already on that page. You don't have to write it. The best keywords in the industry are on those pages. Search engines have these little spiders crawling around looking for keywords. Is that correct? That's right. Now, which ads do search engines bring up first? And more often, the one that had been optimized, all these have already been optimized. You don't have to do it. And these already have the top keywords in there. It's already been done for you. So when somebody is searching around the Google Gallery and they're seeing and typing some of these things, they're going to go up to the top first. Now, what about competition and saturation? No need to worry. Search engines created a level playing field. All ads are rotating. Now the good ones are rotating, but where are they always rotating? At the top of search engines. Did you know if I placed a laptop here in front of Ed, and one in front of us at the me, and I had them both go to Google and type in laptop computers, and they're going to have results come up, yes or no? Did you know that both of them were looking at two different pages with different ads? Because you're never looking at the same one. What? It's how it works. How many of you did not know that? Yeah, they're not. They're always different. Why? Because they're rotating. And the best ones where they are rotating at the top. Now, interesting. So, Richard here loves the program. He gets enrolled. He goes to a three-day training class. He puts together a little web page like this. This is very pretty, and I'm going to use it as an example. One of the students actually did this. Let's say that Richard did it. He went to the class, got trained, got creative. He just reached in there and grabbed from a private network all these company brand logos into one page. Now, let's say that I'm somewhere else and I'm looking for a little table or chairs and I want to get something inexpensive. So first I'm going to look on the internet and see what I can find. Where might I get a good place for me to look? Huh? Walmart? Maybe? First of all. Okay, so in a little Google toolbar, I'll type in one. Walmart. That's what 97% of people do. They don't type in the other AW dot stuff. They just type in that right hand corner on Yahoo or Google, whatever they're looking for. Walmart. Now, what if I use this other one? I'm not going to be Walmart. No, I already did. What did I still get from Walmart? Yes. What? Yeah. Walmart. 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 They've already taken the word Walmart, two words, and ran it through. What's called a typo generator, and they generate every possible way to misspell Walmart. Walmart owns every one of those typos, domain names. Even if you type it in wrong, you're going to go wrong. How many did not know that? Interesting? Wow. Okay, check this out.
this out. So I typed in Walmart and do I see it on this page? So what do you think the next logical thing would be for me to do? Click on it. Okay, now where am I? Walmart's homepage. There it is. Wow. Yeah, that's nothing to do with Walmart. There's the table I want. I'm going to put it in the shopping cart, pay for it, on credit card, and have a chip in my house. Am I through? Yes or no? Who got me to Walmart? Richard, through that one page web page. Did he? Yes or no? Wow. So, Richard, what were you doing when I bought that table? <laughs> yeah, you'll get a commission. I like your style. But what were you doing? Sitting in a computer making all this work? Or did you already do your work for that day? Could he be doing anything he wants to? Yes or no? Could he be anywhere in the world? Yes or no? Is this real? Is he really going to get a commission? What's 40% of $400? 35% of $400, I'm sorry, about 140 bucks. That's coming to you, Richard. But how do I know that it sounds so good? We'll take a look at this. That is Walmart URL. But that right there, those numbers are Richard's affiliate ID number. Those are embedded in every ad that you run or every page that you run. That right there says, that's his number. He is, in fact, a partner of Walmart. And he's going to get paid $140. This is real. Wow. Wow. Some of you that want to get in this room, I'll tell you what I started this about three and a half years ago. A little extra bonus. I already know that I'm going to Best Buy. So before I go down to Best Buy, I'm going to go online and see what I want. Buy it when I go through my site. Why would I do that? Yeah, I'm going to buy it anyway. And those of you in the room tonight, you're going to spend money anyway. You can go to Macy's, Walmart, J.C. Finney's, Target, Kohl's, all these places anyway. Wow. Yeah, I like to go through here so I can get paid. Then I can just click on install a pickup and go in there and pick it up if I want it quickly. Same thing with your pants. I got pants going here and the pet coat for I can pay it. Just a little bonus. Same thing with travel. I travel a lot. I just made 35% commissions on all the traveling book. If I'm going to buy anything at Walmart, it's going to be over $200. I'm going to go look online at Walmart first, buy it, put the in-store pickup, and go down there and do it. Am I going to get paid for that item? Yes or no? Wow, this is good stuff. I know. This is a big industry, friends. $6 billion was paid out last year to affiliate workers. $6 billion. I'm just curious, how many of you like to have a piece of that pie? <laughs> Who would be happy to lick that knife and cut that pie? <laughs> you would? Huh? Okay. Well, it kind of goes back to the old lady 20 rule. <clears throat> You've probably seen this before. 80% of the people are only making 20% of the money. This includes the U.S. and Canada. What? Oh, this is facts. They surround themselves with other 80 percenters. It's a mindset. It's what it is. People worry about how much something costs, unless it's a consumer feel good item, then it's okay to go buy. Especially if you don't need it, right? Because there's people in both countries that buy things they do not need with money that they don't even have to press things they don't even know are like. Is that true? Yes or no? Who are they trying to keep up with? Who? Okay. Some people say the Joneses. They all want to make money. 20% of the people in this country, both countries, any country, they're making 80% of the money. Why? They have a different mindset. Wow. 
They surround themselves with positive thinkers, with the other 20 percenters. They don't worry about the cost. It's so like I explained to you earlier. Does the value outweigh the cost? Hmm. These folks are willing to make money. So here's some keys for you to remember. You must become decisive and make good decisions. You must be willing to be successful. You gotta be willing to be successful. Get out of your comfort zone. Number three, this is great for adults. You don't need permission to be rich in your life. So stop asking. Don't ask other people what they think. It's your life. Go for your dreams. See, tonight might be a good night or a good day in your life to get out of your room. You are here for a reason. Wow. Do you all agree the best time to live is while you are alive? Yes or no? <laughs> You're beginning to. All right. <laughs> You're probably tired. Einstein is smart. What did he say? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting the same results. So if financial independence is important to you, you might make yourself a note. In two years, I will have arrived. The question is where? And here's the easy way to answer that question. <laughs> Where were you two years ago financially? Think about it. Bring yourself back to the present. What has changed for you financially? If you're sitting in your seat right now and say, nothing really. So what's really and truly going to change in the next two years? See, nothing's going to change unless we do. Would you agree with that? Wow. Okay. What's going to make it work for you immediately? Then, if you would, write this down. Those of you who are taking notes who actually care about your financial future, you write it. I see those of you who are writing, and those of you who are already rich. I love you guys. I guess you come to eat. All right. Wait till you see what it is. <laughs> You wish you had this with me for two hours. You might want to leave now and go get something good. Startup specialist. Startup specialist. You're in class Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You're going to be getting a packet on Sunday that's going to have the toll free number to the office that you can call for support. You can call Monday through Friday, Central Standard Time. From 9 to 6, Saturday, from 9 to 3, you're going to be surprised because a human will answer the phone in English. And if you need another language, just tell me, but it will start in English now. After hours, you can submit an email and answer any question, ask any question you want. Text support and send an email back before noon the next day, or maybe sometime that night. Inside that packet will also be a phone number to your startup specialist. Inside that packet will be your two affiliate ID numbers that are yours, the private network. You're going to get login codes for the software program. Monday, call the startup specialist. As soon as you get up, while you're on the phone, this person, when they answer the phone, you check, tell them your affiliate ID number. They'll be waiting on your call. They'll discuss with you, I don't know, a dozen or so products that sold on the internet while you were in class Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And what companies are promoting those products? Here's what they're going to do for you on Monday. When you call the startup specialist, you need to be at a computer looking at it. You're on the phone with them. Your startup specialist is going to place your first ad on the internet, your first account on the internet for you. 
Then they're going to place your first ad on the internet live for you before you hang up the phone. You will have one ad working live on the internet. Give it a little time, 15, 20, 30 minutes, 45, an hour. It will vary. But you only have one ad. Now here's what Anthony wants you to do. Log in, private network, locate your clicks. You will see clicks on that ad. Now, you're then going to see conversions and looking in column three. In a very short period of time, you're going to see commissions coming in. What? Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. You've already been in class three days. You already know how to do it. Anthony's going one step further, and the company's going to do your first one for you. And just imagine, you're looking at it, you got clicks, conversions, and commissions. What might you do next? Who would play some more ads? I'm just curious. Okay, <laughs> six of you. Good idea. You're going to make a lot of money. Ah. Because it's working. Right? So how many different web ads or web pages do you want? Out there on the internet. How many? It's unlimited. Is that true? So the more you have, are you going to make a lot more money, yes or no? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, what all comes with 29.9 software? Unlimited web pages, never a hosting fee, no additional monthly fees attached to this at all. Unlimited ads run on the network already written. You don't have to write. Okay, then the online learning center. That's on the corporate website. You will receive a set of DVDs of the three day class on Sunday when you leave. It's already been edited. It's on eight different DVDs. It's, it's the three day class of Adrian Marks and teaching it. You get to take that home with your DVD. Ongoing customer support, I'll show you how that works. Access to the private networks. Now I want to talk to you and show you a short video with Anthony on mobile marketing. Prior to that, I kind of set it up a little bit. Because during this short video, he's going to invite you to attend a webinar with him where he's going to train you personally how to do mobile marketing. And he's going to say, you can add that to your order for $995. Well, here's the way the tuition works. Everything I've talked about so far, that's actually $1,995. So some people may elect just to take the class right now. Now, some may go ahead and include the mobile marketing, and that's how the tuition is $2,099. Okay, so let's hear from Anthony about mobile marketing. Hi everybody, it's Anthony Morrison, and I want to thank you, I want to personally thank you for being here today. You know, it's an exciting event. I'm sorry that I couldn't personally be there, but I can't be everywhere at once. But I just hope that you've really been fulfilled and you've learned an awful lot. I know our presenters are, are awesome and a great job, and uh, I feel like you're probably really well educated by this point. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to come on here and personally tell you about something that's cutting edge, completely new, and uh, it's so new, so cutting edge, that our presenters don't even really know how to teach it. And that's why I'm having to do it myself, because I want to make sure that you hear this from my mouth home. The world of mobile marketing, right? Uh, this is a new concept. This is the future of marketing online and, and really in, in general. Uh, is mobile marketing. Listen to these statistics. For five billion people have a mobile phone. Only one billion people are connected to the internet. That means if you can harness the power of affiliate marketing, which we teach in our workshop, but you can market on mobile devices and advertise on mobile devices, you can potentially reach five times as many customers. That's staggering statistic number one. Statistic number two. Ninety-seven percent of text messages are read. All right, on all the things that I do, put ads on Google, 
we're going to send out emails, all of the things that we do, the things that we're going to teach you to do in our workshop. Nothing has a 97% you know, red rate or open rate. I mean, that's unheard of. But see, mobile phones are part of your daily life. So 97% of text messages are red. Imagine if you do your marketing, your text messages. Now, another statistic that absolutely just blew my mind, right? Probably one of the most exciting ones for me is simply that people are never more than an arm's length away from their cell phone for 23 out of 24 hours in a day. Think about that. 23 out of 24 hours in a day, you are an arm's length away from your cell phone. Now, these are statistics I read online and surveys I read. But the fact of the matter is, people have cell phones, and they're attached to them. It's part of their daily life. Let me ask you this question right now. How many of you in the room have checked your email uh, in the last, say, two hours? Or how many of you have been on Facebook in the last two hours? Now, how many of you have looked at your phone? How many of you have looked at your phone since you've been at this event? Maybe right before you walked in the door. How many of you looked at your Facebook account? You see, it's staggering when you think about it. In fact, what really sold me on learning mobile marketing was a video that I watched. It was of Times Square in New York. You know, Times Square is notorious for all the big billboards and the advertisements. I mean, that's what it's all about. It's about advertising. It was staggering to watch this video. All you saw was this. People walking down Times Square, texting, reading their phones. Nobody was looking up at all those advertisements. And that's when I realized the power of mobile marketing. And so I have done an extensive amount of research on mobile marketing, learned mobile marketing myself, and am now implementing mobile marketing. And what I want to do is I want to extend to you, to those of you that are going to attend our workshop, I want to extend an opportunity for you to join me on a webinar that I'm going to personally do on mobile marketing. Now, to join me on the webinar is $995, but you'll have access to this webinar with me personally teaching you mobile marketing. But here's what's awesome about this. This is the first webinar that I'm going to do, but I'm going to do many webinars on mobile marketing. And the reason for it is because as I learn, I'm going to continue to teach you, continue to teach you. If you add this to your order today, if you decide to attend our mobile webinar in addition to our workshop, then you'll have access to all the mobile webinars that I ever do, completely free, never charge you again. You'll be able to get on all of them because I'm going to take you and really hold your hand and walk you through mobile marketing as I learn, right? Now, the reason we do not extend this opportunity to any of those people that are in the room that are maybe not going to attend our workshop, it's real simple. If you don't have your core, if you don't understand affiliate marketing, if you don't go to this three-day workshop and really get educated, Understanding mobile marketing isn't going to do you much good. But if you attend this three-day workshop, you learn everything that we're going to teach you there, and then you attend this webinar with me online on mobile marketing, you are going to have the opportunity to explode your business. And the reason is, is because you now have potentially five times more customers that you can market to. So I'm totally excited about it. As you can see, I had to do a video myself to tell you about it. I'm the one that's personally going to teach it, and I'll continue to teach it because I feel like it's the future. It's the next wave, right? I mean, think about back when Facebook started. Nobody really knew much about it. But now look at it. Mobile marketing is right there, folks. And if you learn mobile marketing right now, you're going to be so far ahead of the curve and so far ahead of the competition in a couple of years because you're going to have a great understanding of how it really works, and you're going to already be doing it and implementing it. So I invite you to join me on this webinar. All you've got to do is just talk to our, you know, talk to our staff, talk to our speaker. They'll show you how you can get enrolled in the webinar. I am excited about it, and I look forward to seeing all of you there. Now, can you tell he's excited? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, absolutely. That's that three-year window of opportunity right there. So you heard him say, those of you who get in at the 29 level, you will get all the mobile marketing webinars that he does in the future. Now, that's only $9.95, it's the day right here, all right? So the choice of tonight be the $19.95 or do them both. <coughs> and those who select to do both, you'll get one of these certificates for mobile marketing, take this with you, with you to the three-day class. That's where you'll get the password for your 
series of mobile marketing. Now, you heard him say you're going to get to take all of the mobile marketing webinar that he does from now on. I know that later this year he's going to do a big promotion, and that will become a training program of its own. And it'll probably be two or three thousand dollars standalone training by itself because of the demand. Right now, you're getting in, taking early advantage of this. What he was about to tell you, I'll just show you. It's the last thing here. It's called a tuition guarantee certificate. How do you think that it's possible for you to attend this three-day training program? Do what they tell you. Use the networking software and actually go out and make a couple thousand dollars in 90 days. Okay. How do you think it's possible for you to go out and make $2,990 or $3,000? Okay. Here is what he has for you. It's called a tuition guarantee. Those of you who actually get involved, Go to class and within 90 days, you do make either two or three thousand dollars. All you have to do is print out your commissions for proof, send it in the office with this, and they will send you all of your money back, all of your tuition. Give you the money back. Having cost you nothing. In exchange for a written testimonial. A success story from you. I think that's pretty good. What? I got a body guarantee to see if I like it. Now you're telling me this is in writing, and I've got the opportunity to do this. And if I'm really motivated, and I just do what they tell me, I can get all my money back? Yes. He's got a lot of testimonials, and this is where they come from, right? Wow. I have four questions left for you, and I'll bring the food out. How many of you are glad that you came out tonight? You're glad that you came? How many of you learned some things that was promised to you? <laughs> That's all right. Now, how many of you do agree that if you're going to get it? software in the right system or don't get in. Yeah? Okay. The consultants are going to come out. I know some of you have questions about payment methods, checks, cash, credit cards, and you know, can I move with money? What about the debt? Questions about things that I've talked about. And the consultants want to help you with these questions. That's Andy. There's Eric. There's Taylor, there's Mike, there's Todd. So these consultants want to help you. So my final question is this. We can get your questions answered and figure out a way to get you into this program. I'm just curious, Roger, how many of you would love to be enrolled in this program somehow? Would you raise your hand high? And keep it up, please. Just hold it up. Keep it up, please keep it up. Because they're going to give you a very simple form. It's not a contract. Keep your hands up, please. And here's what's going to happen while you're eating. Those of you who take one of these forms, fill out the top portion. We need more forms. What's up? Come on. Over here, over here. Okay. <coughs> what we shouldn't be. All right, anybody else need a form? This gentleman right here needs one. All right, you got some more forms in the back? Okay. All right. What's going to happen if you'll fill out the top portion? Don't be scared. I'll use your name and address and phone number. We already have it. Fill this form out and the consultants while you're eating will come around and they're going to answer your questions. They'll do everything to get you enrolled in the program. Somehow, we'll work it out. We're here to help, not hurt. If you've got a special situation, tell us about it. We can probably work through it. So that concludes my portion of the program. They're going to bring the food in now. And Daryl will be back in about 15 minutes to do the drawing for the e-tablet computer.
So, I've enjoyed my time with you. I hope you enjoyed it. I won't wish you luck, but I'll tell you God bless you. And go for your dreams and don't let anybody stop. Thank you.